Take. Hey, what's up and hello, you guys. I am Eswana. Today, I am out in Cape Town and we're about to visit a very special young entrepreneur. Her name is Amy De Castro. She's only 25, you guys, but she's making some serious moves in her career. So let's go check out if she's willing to give us some of her time. Do you guys get it? You don't? Well, come with me and you'll find out. <laughs> So we're sitting down with Amy, the owner of Bamboo Revolution, and we're going to be chatting to her a little bit. So Amy, welcome to Active 99. Thank you. Okay, so Amy, let's get right into it. What is Bamboo Revolution all about and how did you start it out? Well, Bamboo Revolution, we make unique bamboo and leather wristwatches. And in 2012, I was studying entrepreneurship and together with my five partners, we were given a brief to come up with a new product. Um, that was aimed at the student market and sustainable. And so after much brainstorming, we reached the bamboo wristwatch concept. And then at the end of the year, four of us decided to continue with the business. But all along, I knew that I had a very specific vision for the business and that I needed to buy my partners out. Yeah. So in February 2013, I bought out my three partners and to pursue the vision that I had for the business. And yeah, so it, it really took off. It, it all came down to the product and how well the product was received by everyone, really. Um, and so I then turned it into an actual business and grew quite organically from there. You mentioned earlier that you bought out your partners and you decided to take this on, you know, as a sole venture. Yes. Um, wasn't that a bit daunting? How was that experience? It was very stressful. I mean, it was not something I'd ever done before. Yeah. Um, if I can give anyone advice there, it was asking for help. So obviously, I had never done this before, I had needed some direction and I fortunately had a family friend who was an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and he kind of advised me and it was a three month process of you know deciding which way to go forward but if it wasn't for his guidance and assistance I don't think I would have had the confidence yeah um, so it's definitely asking for help and sometimes it's good to just jump in and do it and learn by doing because if you kind of think about what's going to go wrong or, yeah. you know you, you create these reservations and kind of you know, fears. So yeah. it was just jumping right in and, have, and asking for that help and guidance. So let's talk about some of the challenges that you've personally faced as, you know, a young entrepreneur. Okay, well, there's many challenges. Every day presents new challenges and opportunities for that matter. Um, in the beginning, I would say I was 22 at the time when I started. So wow. I think it was quite challenging dealing with people who were older than me, yeah. who might not have taken me that seriously. But I kind of see a challenge as an opportunity to prove them wrong. So um, I quite enjoyed that. Yeah. And then for most small businesses starting out, cash flow is also an issue. So we self-funded, we started from 50 Rand and it was just growing organically. So bootstrapping, which is putting the profit but straight back into the business and growing organically that way. And then also a big challenge was product. So I knew very little about watchmaking and it was just kind of being thrown in the deep end and learning as I went about the product and how it all worked. Watchmaking isn't um, something completely new, it's not a new invention, but we wanted to take an everyday functional object and redesign it in a more sustainable way. So we wanted to take bamboo, I mean, it's such a beautiful, versatile, strong material. Mm. One of the, my favorite things to say is you can eat it, you can eat with it, you can eat on it, you can wear it, you can live under it. Yeah. Um, so it's just such a beautiful material. We wanted to keep it in its most simplest form and show that you know sustainable fashion can be on trend and it can be appealed to everyone. Okay, sweet guys, be sure to keep it locked because after this, we'll be meeting the rest of Amy's team.